Have you ever felt like you're paying for software, but you're really not getting the most out of it? I think it's fair to say we all have. I use ConvertKit for my email marketing and found it's the most effective way for me to engage with my audience. But there are five features I use time and time again, and I bet most creators don't even know about them. I've partnered with ConvertKit, which is currently rebranding to Kit, to tell you about these five quality of life features. Features you didn't know you need, but can't live without. Hey, I'm Chris. I've been using ConvertKit for the last year. And in the last 90 days, I've sent over 120,000 emails. Today, I won't just be telling you about these five features, but also how I use them in my workflow. These features are content snippets, resend to unopens, slash menu bar, quick find, link triggers. Let's start with content snippets. You can create reusable content snippets for your emails. So you can create something once and use over and over again. And when you edit the snippet, it updates everywhere else. I use snippets all over my emails, whether it's ad for a sponsor or to sell my own product. The call to action at the end of my email, even my email signature. They're super easy to create. Decide what you're going to reuse, copy that, and paste it in snippets. Give it a name, and go back to where you want it, paste it in, and boom. You can even edit it right there. Next is resend to opens. Everyone knows that when you're sending emails, there's never a 100% open rate. Resending emails gives you another chance for that email to be seen by people who didn't previously open it. Just click the three dots, then resend. It duplicates the email And once sent, it will nest under the email and show you separate stats of the performance. But also overall metrics. I use this for important announcements, emails with sponsorship and flash sales. It's a friendly nudge, but don't use this feature on every email. Pro tip here, you can only resend your email campaigns within a week of sending it out. The next is slash menu bar. Have you ever waited, hovered, and not quite clicked on that plus button to add a new heading or an image? No more! No. Hit forward slash and the menu bar pops up. This feature is one of those that is a massive quality of life improvement. Pro tip here, hit forward slash and start searching what you want. For example, forward slash S for a snippet or forward slash H for a heading. Next up is quick find. If we just browse through, they've got all the actions mapped to specific keys. Simply press command or control and K anywhere in ConvertKit. It brings up the search bar. There's even a prompt to help you remember the specific page. If we just browse through, they've got all the actions mapped to a specific key. Go to broadcast is GB, go broadcast. Create a new broadcast is NB, new broadcast. Find broadcast is FB. Make sense? Let's say you want to view the subscriber page. Command K, then GS, then enter. Go to subscriber is GS. So that makes sense. Using a mouse is so 1990. Last but not least is link triggers. You can actually track who clicked on which link and trigger an action if they did. What do I mean? Well, there's two ways I use this. First, my readers click on one of the call to actions at the bottom of my email. It opens the landing page, but it can also tag them and I can immediately put them in an automated sequence. The other way I use it is with surveys. People are kind of sick of surveys and I want to be sure that if they clicked on the link, I assume they completed one of my marketing surveys. The one that says, where did you hear about me? and then unsubscribe them from future emails and future surveys. That way, I'm not sending them something twice when they've already done it. So the five features are content snippets, reusable components in your emails, 
recenter unopened is exactly what it says on the tin. Slash menu bar, open the menu bar with a forward slash when writing. Quick find, shortcuts to everything. Link triggers, trigger a desired action from a simple link click. Those are my five favorite features that really improved my experience using the platform. Go try them out yourselves, and I'm watching them closely to see what they release in the future. Thanks again, ConvertKit, for sponsoring. For more creator content, hit the big red button. And until next time, bye!